Welcome back to Dano Does Things. It is nearly my birthday, so today I'll show you how to make a super cute pom-pom crown slash headband. First, I'll show you how to use yarn to make nice and fluffy pom-poms. You should choose a bulky weight yarn for your pom-poms, as lightweight yarns will result in a more spindly looking pom-pom. Make a template out of cardboard. Cereal boxes or Kleenex boxes are the perfect weight for this. Trace out two circles using something round that is about two and a half inches across. Cut those out. Then, using a smaller circle, about the size of a quarter, center it on one of the larger circles. Trace it and then cut out the smaller circle. Make sure there's about a half an inch gap in the outer circle. Use the first cutout as a template to make the second one. Take the yarn you've chosen and cut a small length about 5 inches long and set it aside. Then, grab the tail end of the yarn and, with the templates placed together, start wrapping the yarn around it. Don't wrap it too tight as you're going to have to get your scissors in between the template pieces. It may take some time to figure out the right tension. Keep it firm, but not tight. Wrap it many, many times around until it is nice and thick. A dense pom-pom only comes from lots of yarn. Once there is enough yarn wrapped, hold the whole thing firmly in one hand while sliding your scissors in between the template pieces and snipping the yarn in between. Using very sharp scissors, like fabric scissors, will make this easier. Keeping pressure on the cut yarn, grab that short length of yarn you had cut before and thread it between the template pieces. Tie a few very tight knots and, once it is secure, remove the template. The pom-pom will be a bit misshapen right now, but that's okay. Sandwich the pom-pom between the template pieces, and using sharp scissors, start evening out the pom-pom. Then, remove the pom-pom and put it the opposite way into the template and repeat trimming it. At this point, remove the template and trim anything that is out of place, fluffing the pom-pom by rolling it and tossing it in your hands. Once the pom-pom is sufficiently round and fluffy, the next step is to make a bunch more. I already made mine, so I'll clean up this fuzz really quick. Now with five pom-poms on hand, it's time to make the band to attach them to. Start with a color-coordinated piece of felt about 10 inches long. 
the edges will be rounded off so they aren't as bulky. Measure down three inches on each side and then half an inch in at the ends and attach those two points. Then cut along the line and round off the end. Repeat on the other side and then make a second identical band. Put the two bands together, then sew around the edge with a blanket stitch. The double layer of felt will give it a bit more structure and stability, but you have to sew around the edges instead of gluing them together so they remain flexible. Once they are together, punch a hole at each end, making sure not to cut through your stitches. If you don't have a hole punch that is sharp enough, which apparently I do not, you can use small sharp scissors or an awl. Now attach the pom-poms using a generous amount of hot glue, pressing each pom-pom down firmly and allowing it to dry fully before you mess around with it. I didn't let mine dry enough, so you'll see one fall off later, but that's okay. I just pressed it back down and gave it enough time to dry and adhere. Thread some yarn through the two holes to make an adjustable band, and your pom-pom crown is done. Pom-pom crowns are perfect for all occasions, birthday parties, photo shoots, Zoom meetings, they'll improve any look, day or night. So go ahead and make yourself a pom-pom crown and share it on Instagram, making sure to tag me, at DanoDoesThings. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for crafty videos and tutorials every Wednesday morning. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next week.